What up? And today, I'm going to show you how I made this shepherd's pie with biscuits. Now, I got the idea, because I always like shepherd's pie anyway. Even though when I grew up, it was called G.I. Joe pie, what they called it in my hometown. But my boyfriend suggested I add biscuits. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. So, I went ahead at first. I'm using lean ground beef. This is about a good pound or so. Now, the serving, of course, it depends on how many people you're feeding. Now, I just went ahead and I'm just going to get a nice brown to it, okay? Well, when it was halfway cooked, halfway, I added a little yellow onion, okay? Because the yellow onion is going to be additional flavor. Everything I do is for the flavors, okay? If you've been watching, you know that. You know. Everything has to become one, and it's all about the flavors. So, right now, we're just making sure that there are no lumps, there is no clumps, making sure that the yellow onion is not clumped up, that no meat is clumped up, because we don't want no clumps in this, okay? It was almost given like a, a remix on a pot pie a little bit, which, you know, I'm not a huge fan of pot pies, personally. I don't know. Like I, I Maybe if I make one myself, make, of course, everything is better homemade, so maybe once I make one myself, it'll be all right, but that's not something that just was my cup of tea, I guess, just kind of growing up. I don't know. I don't know what it is about Popeyes, but maybe if I make my own and do a little remix on it, we can make it do what it do. But this was kind of giving a Popeye, but better. A better Popeye, you know? I like that. I like that. You know, I don't like to leave those blanks of time, of the of just silence or just the music playing in the background. I just like to talk. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't like to leave that space of just emptiness and me not talking. So I just try to fill it with space. I don't know, you know? I've heard a lot of people say they like my voice, so I'm gonna just talk as much as possible so you know what's going on, you know? So that's all that's happening. That's all. I don't know why I took so long just stirring this meat and doing all that, but this is very therapeutic cooking for me, so, okay, I didn't say that right. It's very therapeutic cooking in my, like, just for me personally. So, you know? I just take my time. Just take your time. You know, ain't no rush. Ain't no rush. You don't want to rush it. If it's made with love, it never is rushed. So while that's happening, we can go ahead and get the seasoning. I started off with some complete seasoning. Some season all. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. And then I went ahead and used some blackened season by Zatarans, because I love that. I like a little heat. Then I finished it with some... Uh, of that ranch fiesta blend cheese i mean it's not cheese ranch fiesta blend seasoning i find this i ain't been able to find it in a while i should have said nothing because <laughs> ever since i started saying stuff i ain't been able to find none when i used to go to wall when i go to walmart so i'm gonna look again whenever i go back but i ain't the last couple times i've been to walmart i ain't been seeing the fiesta uh, the fiesta seasoning over there by the like the other ranch seasonings and i don't like that for me i don't like that for me because I, I want some too but i think people done caught on so it's been like kind of sold out oh, that's crazy next time i have to just stock up i'm just gonna get a few so right now i am just making sure the seasonings are all throughout you know Making sure everything is thoroughly seasoned and all over. We don't want nothing tasting different. Everything needs to become one. Okay. So just put the top on that. And when that's done, turn the heat off. And we're going to get to assembling. So I got my cast iron skillet. I'm using home style biscuits. Okay. So I'm just basically flattening them all out. Because they're going to be basically the crust. Basically. At the bottom. So that home, home style biscuit is going to add like a nice little flaky crust. So I just basically put that all just make sure they was flat and no no spaces, no holes, nothing at the bottom, okay? Making sure it's completely just a whole layer of biscuits. No cracks, no cracks. Then I went ahead and added that meat, okay? Add it. I added all of the meat, literally. All of it. Now, you can layer this however you want to layer it. This was actually my first time making my own shepherd's pie slash G.I. Joe pie. Because that's how, like I said, that's how I was introduced to this. But... Yeah, we just add the meat. Adding that nice little layer of meat. Everything gonna have a nice little layer. Okay. The layers, is, that's what make it like almost like a pie pie. So then I'm using some corn. Just some regular sweet corn. 
I just put all that, just one can. You use two if you want to, if you like a lot of corn. I just use one. Then I added a little bit of season all on top of that before I added those mashed potatoes. Now the mashed potatoes, I, I just I just put a little butter on them. Okay, I just boiled them, put a little butter on them, put a little milk, a little black pepper, and a little complete seasoning. Okay, you can add some more seasoning if you want to, because I, I all I did was reuse everything that I've already used, so we don't have no difference in flavors. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to add nothing to make it to kind of throw it off. Basically, I just kind of want to use the kind of the same seasoning, so everything can just become like I said, just become one. Okay, it's all this is all becoming a family right now. This is all becoming a family. So I'm just spreading those mashed taters, spreading them all over the corn. Okay. Just spread them. Spread them, make, make a nice layer of mashed potatoes, okay? Might get a little hard, you know the corn get to stick into the mashed potatoes. That's why I say you can layer this however you want. You could put the, either way, you was gonna have to spread it like this, because even if you put the mashed potatoes on top of the meat, it's still gonna be where the meat gonna try to seep out. I, I didn't want no corn to be showing. I wanted it to be layered, like I said. So, it needs to be completely covered. Cover all that corn. Cover it. Cover it, cover it, cover it. Make a nice mashed potato layer. Okay, that's all we doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now the cheese of choice is a cheddar jack. I found in my local grocery. So I shredded that and I let it sit for a little while cause you know you, it's better to shred your cheese after it's been sitting out for a little while cause it's, it, it's just a better shred and it melts differently too when it's been sitting out. So after I shredded it, I let it sit for a little while and just put it on top. I just covered the whole top with cheese. Just like I would do like with a baked mac and cheese. Anything that I'm baking with cheese on top, just cover it. Nothing should be, nothing. I don't want nothing showing. Every layer should be completely covering the layer before. Then I topped it with some parsley flakes and a little bit of paprika just for the color and just for the beauty factor. Okay, and this is how it was before the oven. I put it on 375 and I cooked it for 35 and I'll say 35 to 35 to 40 minutes or until your desired crispiness because this, this is all about you and your palate and whoever you feed me. So make sure it's done. Make sure the biscuit's done. I just, we just make sure. Okay, you can add. Raise the temperature if you want to. You can cook it on 400 for 30 minutes. Whatever you gotta do, just make sure the biscuits, just make sure everything is done. And make sure that cheese is melted on top and it look real pretty like. And this was it. This was good, y'all. This was real good with the biscuits. Look at that, creaminess. Creaminess, dreaminess. It definitely was giving pot pie, but better, you know? Now if you make this, let me know, you know? I know a lot of people like shepherd's pie. I was giving a lot of different comments when I made the short for this, but I know, I, I know it's, it's delicious. I can see why people love this, but if you make it, let me know. Go follow my Instagram. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll be back for more videos. If you got suggestions, just let me know. Just drop it down. Okay. Just make sure you follow, 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 follow. We almost there.